to another vlog. So today we take on Stevenage at home. Um, a game that, I mean, could definitely be a big one for both teams. And when you look at the picture at the minute, you know, we've lost our last two games because um, we lost on Tuesday night in the uh, Carabao Cup first round at Plymouth 2-0. And then uh, Stevenage have lost every single three games so far this season. I mean, listen, it's only been like two games in the league and three games in all competitions, so it doesn't mean anything really just yet. But, you know, no team wants to go in towards that downward spiral. You know, I think both teams will look at this as a big opportunity to try and take three points off one another, um, which makes it a very interesting clash. I mean, I don't look at the fact that they've lost every game so far and and think it's going to be an easy game. Of, I keep up with uh, social media and everything on uh, League Two and, and that, but I've seen uh, in the summer that they announced on their Twitter account that their uh, aim this season was promotion. Um, so obviously if they want to make that a reality, then they've got to try and step it up a bit quite quickly. Um, and they've obviously got some good players. I know they spent a bit of money as well. Um, so it is going to be a difficult game. You know, I would imagine they'll bring a fair amount of fans as well with it being only Hertfordshire, which is obviously not that far away. Um, so the atmosphere should be good. Um, and hopefully, you know, Ross Embleton actually switches it up to a 4-4-2 today. I think we definitely need that width out wide with natural wingers. You know, the wing-backs, uh, they're just not wing-backs and that's not their fault because they're just full-backs. But they haven't got that pace and that crossing ability, you know, like a winger does. Which I, again, I'm, it's not their fault because their fullbacks playing in a role that's not really that suited to them. But they've had to step up and they've been okay. Um, but I'd like to see four four two today. Um, I'd like to see Dennis start. He did start in midweek, um, and I'd actually maybe start Harold up front over um, Wilkinson because I haven't really seen much from Wilkinson so far to to show that he's going to be the answer. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to feel about this game because I feel like it could be one with a quite a big scoreline, um, quite a few goals. Cause I think you're going to see both teams playing attacking, aggressive football and going for the three points, which makes it, like I say, a very interesting game. Um, I mean, I'd expect us to win today being at home. Um, you know, we want to get a good record at home, really, to pick most of our points off at. Um, and obviously we picked up our only win so far at home. Um, and the atmosphere I know will be great. Uh, yeah, I don't, it's, just, it's a tough one to call because it really could swing either way. Um, but obviously, my head's going to tell me um, on my score prediction I'm going to go for an Orient win, um, and I'm going to go for I'm going to go for three two Orient. I feel like there's just going to be goals um, just because both teams are purely going to go at it. So. I don't think there's any fresh injury updates or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let's head down to Brisbane Road. Oh, oh, Yo, it's the hype I'm set. AJ Tracy live and direct. DJ mash up the mash up the deck. The microphone champ is live and direct. And again, it's the hype. Yeah, uh, it's great. Right. Shoot. Eight minutes added on in the first half. 
Uh, there's been loads of injury time. I'm wasting. Uh, unlucky, bro. But yeah, a lot of injury time. They've done time wasting quite a lot. And they've had two players come off. They've had so many players go down. But yeah. Eight and finally half time, nil nil, we deserve to be in front. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, just, yeah, it's it's a goal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we deserve to be in front. Sorry about that, people's gone past. We deserve to be in front, look, created a lot more than them. Um, they don't look like they've offered much up front. But uh, I think the only thing going wrong with us at the minute is our forwards with uh, Wilkinson and Angle. They just don't seem to be good at finishing. They can't finish much, but yeah, we're creating chances, which is something we haven't done. So, you know, very positive. We should easily be two or three now up, but you know, it's un we've been unlucky. You know, we, we deserve to be in front, but we'll see. Second half, hopefully, we carry that momentum in the second half and we get the three points. That's it. Don't poop it forward. I like that. That's how you should. Start. Launch it out wide and lose the ball. Pass the ball and keep it. Oh, what? What's he doing? What's he doing? Fucking diving. How we haven't scored two shots blocked from close range. Oh my word, that's great goalkeeping, but we should we should be out of sight by now. Oh players going down again for them. Oh, it's been so unlucky. Clay going off the Gorman. Clay played very well again, super probably our best player. Looking to off. Lewis Dennis on good side. Positive happy off, Harold on. Attacking. Good sub. Ten minutes to go. Come on, man. We deserve to win this summer. Four minutes out of it on. It should be a lot longer. I bet if we don't win this game, we will be top. Last attack. Last. This is it. Last roll of the dice. Come on, boys. Please. Come on. I've got a good line here. Yes. Shoot. Oh. Oh. No, no. I don't know how we haven't won. I don't know how we haven't won. I honestly don't. slightly frustrated um, but I think there is a lot of positives to take from this result um, despite the fact that we should have won about 3-4 even 5-0 and on another day we really would have you know I think it's just about that the team and the front two more importantly gelling um, and finding their shooting boots and getting a goal each really because when they do you know they'll only gain confidence and then uh, you know, hopefully they'll go on and score some more. But I think that's what we we lack today. You know, that sort of composure in front of goal. Um, and I think at times I feel like we do miss Bond and Karoma. That was a massive hit. You know, to lose both your two main strikers. You know, the 30 plus uh, goal scoring combination between them two. That's a, that's a big loss. Um, but yeah, we were we were brilliant today. We played some great stuff. Um, although you know we have won you know, on our opening day of the season, this was actually the best football we've played. You know, we actually had a right good go. Um, and like I say, that, that's the positive to take out of the game because, you know, previously in our last couple of games, we haven't created much. Um, and today we, we dominated play. We had like 72% possession at half-time. 
um, and it probably was about the same at, at full time but yeah we created a lot more um, actually had a few shots what I say a few we had about 15 in the first half um, and that that's the story of the game really we had so many chances um, and just couldn't you know finish them off and like I said on another day and when our team's gelled and when the strikers have got a bit of confidence you win that game 3-4 maybe 5-0 um, I thought Steven Hidd were very poor one of the worst sides um, that I've seen come to Brisbane Road in a long time and don't forget obviously I've seen some poor teams come down in the National League but they were pretty bad and if I was a Steven Hidd fan I know they've got a good point they clearly came to us and, and set, wanted the point and they got it in the end but you know, if I was a Stevenage fan after seeing that performance, um, and I know they've got one point from three games now, I'd be quite concerned um, because I know their ambition was to be uh, fighting for promotion, which I personally cannot see. Um, if they carry on like that, yeah, they'll be much lower down and probably in a relegation battle. Um, I do, I will give credit to the goalkeeper. He made two, two blinding saves, you know, from uh, Wilkinson and Angle. Angle probably should have finished that chance off the rebound but it was a great save from the keeper I won't take that away from him the defence from Stevenage were, were decent you know um, they, did a, they did a decent job um, and obviously kept a clean sheet but if I was their fans I'd be worried because going forward they don't look like they have much to be honest because you know they I don't know how many shots did they have in the game probably two three maybe if they were lucky um, so I'd be concerned about that but you know you, it's frustrating because obviously in a game like that where you could have won by three or four you know you do want to really come away with a win and obviously to, to get a draw it's a little bit disheartening but I'll, I'll look for the positives and uh, I'll certainly take them because you know it was an improvement today from Macclesfield and, and Plymouth so you know, as long as we're improving, that's the main thing. And the more the team plays together, the the more it will gel. Um, and like I say, Angle and Wilkinson, both of them desperately need a goal. And I think then we'll be fine because, you know, with strikers, they're confidence players. And uh, when the goals come in, and especially when they get off the mark, you know, that confidence will be using through them. Um, and they'll probably do a lot better in front of goal. So... You know, we've got a very tough game coming up on Tuesday night, which I'm not sure if I'll be going yet. Uh, that's literally touch and go 50-50. Um, depends on what time uh, my uncle gets back from work. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, a very tough game in Mansfield away, who've you know continuously been up near the top of the table for the last however many seasons in this league. Um, and they're a decent outfit as well. So that'll be a tough place. I'll take a point there. Um, but I just want to see us score score a goal, really. I still personally feel like we should change it to 4-4-2 um, in, in the next game at Mansfield because of the fact that we do need that, that width out wide with natural wingers. You know, there's so many times where the ball went out wide and then came back in and then went out wide and come back in. And it's just like, you know, if you have the overlap, you can literally cut inside and you can try and put the ball... Um, you know, on the edge of the box, and we just seem to look a little bit uh, lost for ideas in that kind of aspect. And like I say again, for Ling and uh, for Widdison, who had a great uh, influence today, coming back and making his first start of the season. Um, you know, they're not natural wing backs. That's not their position. They're just left back and right back. But you know, they had to make shift, and they've done a decent job. But you know, it'd be better if we had played 4-4-2 and get Brophy out wide. He was superb today. Absolutely run the show for us and he terrified their defence, you know, with his pace and his dribble. And he had the most successful dribbles in the league before today. And I reckon he's probably doubled that tally alone today because he he was he was superb. He run things and, you know, he, he was a one player that really looked a threat and looked like getting us a goal. Um, but a bit of poor judgment getting into the box where he actually... You know, for once had a shot where he should have actually tried to stick it at the back post for Wilkinson or Angle to notch in um, to an empty net. But listen, there's positives to take today. Uh, I still personally, like I say, we'll switch it up to 4-4-2 on Tuesday with Dennis and, and Brophy out wide. The pace that them two both have 
that is frightening. Um, and you've got to keep giving Wilkinson and Angle more games just to get that partnership going a bit more. But I feel like Harold should deserve a chance coming up, you know, if them two don't start scoring goals soon because Harold come on today for a bit. You know, he didn't do much in the end really, but, you know, that physical presence up front where, he, you know, you know what you're getting from him. Um, and, you know, yeah, like I say, I'll take the positives, you know, because it, it is an improvement of the last two games and that's all you want to do. You just want to keep progressing. Um, it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. We've got to take the point and we've got to go on to Mansfield and then Crawley at home on Saturday and we've just got to look to build on it and add, add some points in between there. You know, I'd take a point at Mansfield and the... Uh, you know, then you want to go and beat Crawley on Saturday, take four points from those next two games, and that's a very good turnout. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I may or may not see you in Mansfield on Tuesday. Up the O's.